So we start with constructor today. Yeah. Now, what constructor actually is? Uh, it initializes an object. What it does? So, whenever an object is created. So if you remember our last program which we did, let's take this example, yeah, here, when I create this object student S1 at line number 61, yes, Yeah. what happens, yes. and which reference is pointing to it? The reference which is pointing to one is, it is, and this object as it is of class student, it will have roll number, S name and percentage, yes? Yeah. Now my question over here is, what are the values of these? Okay, whatever the user inputs, right? No, as, at the very moment, at this very moment. At this, uh, so normally what happens in C++ is it allocates garbage values to them. What does it allocate to them? Uh, it allots them garbage values. What it allots to them? Garbage yeah. So as soon as the object is created, that very moment what values it has, it has garbage values any random yeah. value okay so if i display if i call the display function over here what do you think it will display me uh, probably what you wrote down on so, so if i just okay i'll just make a copy of this and we'll just remove the extra part whatever i wish to remove so we'll remove all this We'll remove this and we'll just okay now what values if I call the display function over here what do you think it should display me? Yeah. so but Java initializes them with zeros with what Zero. So an integer will be zero or double will be zero point zero and a string will be an empty string. So integer will be zero, the string will be empty string and a double will be. So now when I display this, see what happens. So if I take over here, we'll give example as constructor demo. Okay, so I'll save this. Are you wrong, yeah. yeah, there's a there's this file file name you can try it again. Yeah. So I just copy this and I save this. And now let's try to see what output we get. We won't be needing all this. We just have this simple class which has a accept and display function. So we have accept function, we have a display function, simple class we have with no static data in it. So I've just made it very simple. So let's save it. Let's compile it. Okay, strength, strength was removed, right? Now when I run this, what do we see? Right? Yeah. So st string is initialized to null, initialized to yeah. integer to zero, string to null as percentage to 0, 0.0, okay? 
but now as soon as this object is created i want some sensible value in it okay so you can visualize a scenario in a hospital so if a kid is born okay and the hospital will create a file for that kid the medical file for that kid yeah wherein all the reports yes. the prescription will be there so what will be what will they write over here so by default what they do is they write over here baby or and the mother name right yes this is what they write by default what if the hospital would just put a dash that would look so ugly right oh yeah so yeah. yeah. not just ugly but they would not know which baby is sensible yeah so and that looks so rude also so if against the name if against the name of the patient they put a dash or oh, or oh put x y z that is looking so ugly right x y z will sound so rude yeah so garbage value is not appreciated right so what we do is as soon as the baby is created we have a default naming convention baby of mother name right yeah so similarly what happens is as soon as the object is created i don't want garbage values i want some standard value and this rule is for all right this baby of mother name is for all the patients right yes so whenever an object of my class is created i want that object to be initialized with some sensible value okay whether it is one whether it is one crash and 50.0 <laughs> okay so each object which is created should have these default values other than the null or the garbage values correct yes so this initialization is done by the constructor done by the who does this job the hello am i audible <coughs> yeah, yeah. so this so this initialization this object initialization is done by whom by the constructor by the is done by whom by the constructor am i understood what is the purpose of the constructor yeah okay this now then how do i identify a constructor in a program so constructor is a vip method what is it a constructor you know methods so what is accept student take information a method right what is display student another method method so we have these regular civilian methods and we have vip methods also what do we have so let's say for example if joe biden he is what a vip person or regular person yeah vip and person Alice, Charles, Ben, who are these guys? Oh, what's his name? You bet straight, man. And Tom, who are these guys? Uh, uh, these are your civilians, right? Regular, normal civilians. So we have two types of methods in a class. One are the normal methods like accept, display. and the vip is your constructor vip is your so constructors are what are very important methods very important methods now what privilege what extra privilege does jo jo enjoy of which a normal civilian doesn't enjoy so if a normal civilian has to board a flight so what where will he park his car He'll park his car in the car parking of the airport. Yes or no? Probably not. He'll park his car in the airport parking. Yes or no? Yeah. But if Joe Biden has to board a flight, he can take his car till the runway. Yes or no? Yes. What else? Uh, Joe Biden can also take his car on. 
या हिम कैन टेक ऑन इज प्लेन प्रोडक्ट इफ जो बाइडन हैज टू ट्रेवल इंटरसिटी ही विल बी ही विल बी एस्कॉर्टेड अन इंटरप्टेड राइट ही नॉट स्टॉप एट एनी सिग्नल विल ही so he will be escorted with a convoy of security escorts uninterrupted to the entire city so even if he is going through a busy crowded street he will still not stop over there right or wrong yeah that's right but normal civilian has to stop at signal so like this there are many more privileges he has a bulletproof car yes no maybe a normal civilian has normal windshield cars yes or no so the purpose is now my my intention of this is what special privileges does the constructor enjoy which a regular function doesn't enjoy the first privilege its name is same as the class name its name is same as what is the name of the function class so if i have a class student what will be the name of the constructor the name of the there will be a function with the same name of that as the class this is the constructor this is the understood yeah so what is the first special privilege which the which the constructor enjoys above other functions perfect okay second if a function doesn't return anything what is prefixed which keyword is prefixed void keyword right yeah if a function doesn't return anything what is prefixed before it void so void keyword is prefixed before a function which does not return anything right yes constructor doesn't return anything constructor constructor what doesn't return so what should happen what should be prefixed before a constructor constructor doesn't return anything means what should be prefixed before a constructor which keyword the function constructor doesn't return anything so what should be prefixed before the constructor over here which keyword what but it still doesn't prefix void but it still doesn't prefix so normally in normal circumstances if a function is returning nothing it should be prefixed with which keyword but constructor also doesn't return anything and it still doesn't prefix void also am i understood yeah second privilege third privilege if i don't invoke the method its body will not be executed right or wrong yeah if i don't invoke or you can say call a method its code will not be executed yes or no so to execute the code of the method i need to call the method yes no maybe so if i have a method over here public void fresh yeah public void greet and it is telling me it is greeting something why isn't this code executed why am i not able to see the output hi krish on the screen because it's not called yeah and when until you invoke a method if i need to see the output what do i have to do yeah i have to invoke it yes no maybe yeah so regular function unless until you invoke it will not the it the function body will not be executed right 
constructor in is not invoke constructor invokes itself constructor it's auto auto invocation it invokes itself when what time what time no at the time of object creation when is the constraint constructor invoke object creation using new keyword using which keyword so whenever i create the object at that very moment the constructor is called automatically it is called implicitly it's called implicitly means it's called within itself no, no need to call it explicitly from outside am i understood yeah. so if it's, if it's your birthday no your family your no your mom she is invited implicitly right you don't have, you don't have to invite her on what's or you don't have to take text her but your neighbors your friends you might have to text them and invite them right yes so she calls herself automatically so constructor do I have to call a constructor yeah. no it calls itself oh it's so yeah like how i had to call this greet method yes or no how i had to call display method yes or no yeah do i have to call the constructor do i have to do this s1 dot student will i do this will i do this no why no because as soon as i give new and student name constructor is invoked constructor is so these are special privilege okay and it can be overloaded i'll show you what is overloading later on we by end of day today i'll show you it can be what means you can have multiple constructors you can have we can have multiple okay on the but you we can have multiple constructors in one class in a class in one class i can have multiple constructors means it can be overloaded right and it's normally public most of the time 99% of time it is public so constructor will mostly be in public area will be in which part mostly in public mostly uh, later on if, as you grow in your uh, programming your understanding of programming then at times we make it private so we have a design pattern called singleton design pattern i don't know if you heard of it i don't know singleton so in that singleton design pattern we make the the constructor as private we make it what but that is very advanced that is very advanced level of programming that you design patterns people learn when they want to become software architects now we are preparing for software developer architect means 8 to 9 years of experience relevant industry experience so that time we'll be learning design patterns so in that there's one pattern called as singleton design pattern in that singleton design pattern we make the constructor as what so th these are these are exception cases but in normal day to day usage the constructor will be in what public public am i understood so these are few extra privileges which a constructor enjoys over other methods so should we go ahead with the practical uh sure yeah so this is my class right what is the class name so what should be the name of the constructor is the class name is student public yo so and normally write it on top right up front so public and student so this is my constructor understood okay what is this constructor no why no yeah they look identical right they look identical but constructor will not have the void keyword prefix am i understood yes so this is the student method of the class this is the this is the student method and this is the this is the constructor am i understood now can you identify a constructor yeah perfect 
okay now what all things you want to give when you you know to when you want the object to be creator of this class so what have we decided what are we going to give uh, i should I, i'll copy this somewhere so that i can help i can share it with you later on so what are we going to give to our objects roll number as hmm as soon as the object of our class is created it should have what roll number what and what name Question. and what percentage so that you can give over here so roll number should be its name should be and percentage should be Am I understood? Now, when I save this, and now when I run this, so when I create this S1 student, what is the roll number name of roll number name and percentage of S1? It would be one question. Yeah. So it should. When I so when I display, it should show me right. So yeah. let's. let's see the difference let's see the difference if so i save it so here what we had roll number 0 name null and percentage 0.0 right yeah and now when i run it you will see the difference do you see this yes so what does the constructor do it gives the top values for count Yeah. So we, in one word, if you have to sum it up, it initializes an object. What does it do? Initializes an object. Yeah. So now, likewise, all the objects of my class will have this default value, right? Yes. No. Maybe. Yes. So if I have S two, S three, and I call S two dot display, what will it display? Hmm. Yes, no, maybe. Getting it? Yeah. So this constructor, which has no arguments, is called as default constructor. It's called as. So the constructor which has, which doesn't take any argument, is called as what? Default constructor. Default constructor. Now what happens is. whenever i create a object of this class with a c now if you see over here do you think line number 47 this is matching with this don't you see yes so this object which i am creating s1 here you can match the constructor it is being which constructor is it referring to the constructor which is blank right so this this object is being created by default constructor right yeah okay now coming back to the hospital example uh, now this child was to be born were the parents aware of it or not uh, they were they were right so few some parents what they do is they plan the names that if it's a girl will keep this name if it's a boy will keep this name yes or no so instead of giving the default naming convention that instead of writing baby of the mother name the father walks up to the hospital uh, this office and he says okay it's a boy so i want to name him rohit we have decided that we want to name him what rohit so the please prepare the file with the name of rohit and the name is sharma make sense yeah so now when the object is created it has its own values it has its own okay going back to this example now these two objects both are having same values yes or no yeah now what if i want to change the value of object second s2 what to do i have left a provision i have left a provision of which method yeah so h2 can any time change its value by calling the except method right yeah 
so s2 dot accept student so you can change its values and then we can display the new values correct so accept yes. is a support sub it plays a supporting role for constructor okay these are not opposites so if i have a constructor why do i need why do, why do i need accept so constructor and accept they complement each other right they don't oppose each other so now if i compile and i run so defa default value right are you seeing this krish yeah what time is it now in canada it's around what 11 in the morning right now it's 7 in the morning what 7 in the morning okay 7 am okay is it sunrise or yeah. before sunrise what time is sunrise uh sunrise is usually around like 6 yeah. 7 6 morning sometimes earlier so what is today sunrise uh, i have to check but it was around 6:30 ish okay so now these two are with the default objects right one krish 50 one krish 50 now i have called accept for s2 now i'm changing the roll number changing the name changing the percentage and then it will display me the new one right yes so you always have a provision of which method accept student to change the value right but what i want is as soon as my object is created at that very moment it should have sensible values Am I am I understood? That's what the constructor is doing. No, that is no. The, the, yeah, we can have default constructor also. So now, when I want S3, as soon as the object is created, I want it should it should have these values. It should have one 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 zero and ninety eight point nine. I want this S3 should have these values as the time of creation. so whenever i call s3 dot student after creation i should get my values not the default values are you understanding so, then i would assume that you would have to initialize at the um, like constructor we'll make one more constructor we'll make what like what chuck do it we'll make no. one more constructor with these arguments with these arguments so which is the first argument 101 first argument is of what type integer second yeah. is of string and third is of double so i'll make a constructor with that argument so first integer second with string and third with get the point yeah. and then a goes into roll number b goes into s name and c goes into percentage this is called as parameterized constructor call that yeah understood yes so now when i create the object as soon as i create the object it will call a constructor matching this signature so signature is integer string double right yeah that uh, one question so yes. um, how would the compiler know that uh, first one that we inputted is not the one that we actually want but this yeah see it it know from this so when s1 is created student what is followed over here empty bracket so we'll go to the constructor which is empty bracket okay then if there's something inside the bracket yeah it's the same signature the so. it should match it should match the signature the signature of this is what int Double. double so it will look for a constructor having this signature uh, then i have another question what if there are multiple constructors that have the same no thing? then it will throw compile time error okay. So, okay so if you make let's say if you make s2 and if you make s2 like this let's say now what now so now we'll have to make one more constructor with this signature yeah 
Are you getting the point? I, I get the point. So when I said constructor can be overloaded means you can have multiple constructors. What does this last point mean? The fourth point? Means what? Yeah, so this is how you can have multiple constructors, but you should match the signature. So we are not using S2, so I'll delete that, okay? So yeah. you can try that by making sense. Is this making sense to you? So this with this signature, it will identify which constructor needs to be invoked, right? So now if I say S3 dots display, what will it display me straight away? Uh, well, and yeah, and then the, the remaining part will execute, right? So if I compile this and I run this, you will see that. You see this? Yeah. And then the other two are executed by the default constructor. Now it is asking me to enter the roll number and name for the. Getting the point? Yes. Okay. So this is the second scenario, right? Now, can you think of any third scenario? Okay, this mother is in the, what do you call this? Which ward? It is called maternity ward, right? In the hospital? Yeah. When she's come for delivering a baby, it's called maternity ward. So, is she the only woman in that ward? Yes. No, you have multiple beds over there, right? So, these two parents, they didn't have any name in mind okay they were like blank they didn't they didn't think of any name but yeah. in this ward one day prior one kid was born and their parents named him Ritik. what they named him Ritik. and this this couple they liked this name very much so what they yeah. thought to themselves What did they think to themselves? That if we have a son, we'll also name them. We'll also name him. Right? Yes, no, maybe. Yes. So it's like you go to a fancy restaurant and you come there for the first time and you don't know what to order. So what I do is I look around in the restaurant and if I see anyone eating something fancy, I tell, okay, get me that dish, right? Yes. So I didn't have anything in mind. I just copied. What did I do over here? copied right yeah. so what we can do is if I have an object s3 and I want an object s4 to be a copy of s3 to, to be a I want s4 to be a copy of s3, s3. so now what I do is I pass that object as an argument yes or no you are getting a point uh, I don't get one Okay, I'll just write over here. So now I have created an object what? Oh no, so you're passing S3, okay. I thought you were passing S4. When you pass S3, that makes sense because you're passing the information stored in S3 over to. Yeah, so three. what will be the values of S4 now? That's going to be 111 Joe 9819, right? Because it's, because it's a copy of S3. Okay, now what do you think should we have in the class now? So this. For this we had a default constructor, yes or no? Yes. For this what did, what did we have? Parameterized constructor, yes? Make sense? And what do you think we'll have over here now? We'll have a copy constructor. What will we have? What will we have? We'll, we'll have a copy copy constructor. What will we have? Copy constructor. Okay, are you getting the point? Rish, are you getting the point? So for this we have default, for this we have parameterized, for this we have copy. What we have? Copy. Copy. So what we are doing is, now when we had this constructor, what was the argument? 
nothing yeah. when we were doing this constructor what was the argument was matching the signature sign. yes or no yeah so when i want this constructor what should be the argument s3 is of what type sure. so i will have a constructor which will have a type student as argument am i understood yes this is the constructor and this is the argument type you can you name anything okay you can let's name it as temp am i understood yes so now this now this s3 is okay now see understand this concept very much krish have you worked on oops concept before uh, no no beautiful so understand this concept very clearly what i am teaching now s3 yeah. is of what type student type student type it is being stored in which variable yeah. temp is of what type so type should match the type should match. see like it's like this okay it's like if in void main just take an example of this if in void main i have integer r equals to 5 and i call a function called area and i pass r to it r is of what type if i have in void main function i have a variable integer r equals to 5 and i call a area function and i pass r as a argument right yes. so in the body of area i will have to take the r in some variable yes or no what should be type of that variable integer ha huh? integer right because the type should be same yes or no yes can i name it to integer k Yeah. The type should be same. The name can change, right? Yes. Yeah. Now I am asking you is, if I have to refer this five year, I will always refer it with with R, right? Yeah. I'll refer it with what? R. And the same, what will I refer it over here with? Okay. Okay. So these both are pointing to the same data. Both are pointing to the Same yeah so understand this okay this is a very important concept they both are pointing to the so the data is what data is 5 right uh, yeah. r is also pointing to 5 and k also is pointing to 5 yes or no yes but in different scopes K R is pointing which method? Okay. And K is pointing which method? Okay. Yeah, you want to understand this concept very well, very well, very very clearly. Just uh, one, one second, Krish. Uh, one second, I have someone at the door. One second. Yeah. Ah, boy. What about it? तुम लोगों को कितना सिलेबस कंप्लीट करना है ये बोलो तुम लोग अगर बोलते सर ये चैप्टर आप तो छोड़ दो अगर सिलेबस कंप्लीट करना है तो कंप्लीट थी और तुमको लग रहा है कि सर यू विल स्किप वन टू चैप्टर्स देन वी विल हैव अ रिडक्शन इन द पीस इट्स दैट सिंपल सो आई प्लान टू सॉल्व योर एंटायर स्लिप्स ऑफ जावा आई डोंट वांट टू लीव एनी स्टोन अनटर्न एंड टेंडेंसी बेस्ड ऑन दैट हो जाना चाहिए तुम लोग रेगुलर है और तुम लोग अगर मेहनत कर रहे तो मैं क्या कर सकता हूं सी दीस गाइस दे कम इन द मॉर्निंग एट 11 द लीव एट 5 टू 6 मतलब द एंटायर डे दे आ ओवर हियर कॉलेज छुट्टी है तो ये इधर आ जाते हैं कॉलेज है तो कॉलेज करके इधर आ जाते हैं तो वो अपना करते हैं उनको मैं एक टास्क देता हूं प्रोग्राम सॉल्व करते हैं नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट टास्क मैं इस प्रोग्राम से करते हैं तो तुम लोग डिसाइड करो कि तुम लोग को कितना कवर करना है या फिर ऐसा करेंगे अपन जितना कवर कर पाए उतना बिल लगा देंगे सर हमारे पास छः चैप्टर है आपने तीन पढ़ा दिए तो आपको आधा दे देंगे चार दे दी तो सिक्सटी परसेंट दे देंगे आपने पाँच करा दिया तो आपको एटी परसेंट दे देंगे आपने छः करा दिया तो फुल फुल्टी दे देंगे 
दो पैट होता है तो तुम लोग के ऊपर जिस दस स्टैमिना है करने का उसका हम करें मेरा तो टारगेट रहेगा कि पूरा एक भी एडवांस जाओ तो उसका मैंने बोला दिस इज माय स्लैब पोस्ट द कोविड समझ जाना तो तुम लोग के ऊपर सर अपन ने तीन चैप्टर कर लिए अपन ने प्रैक्टिकल कर लिए जेडीबीसी का जीएसपी सर्वलेट का नेटवर्किंग कल जुम्मा है तो साढ़े बारह बजे में निकल जाऊंगा फ्राइडे है ना दो बजे तो मैं साढ़े बारह से दो नहीं हूँ Yeah. So, is this concept clear to you first? Yes. So, it's like this girl. Okay. So, this is one girl. You know, you all have this SSN number over there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, let's say if this girl, her name is Priyanka. What is her name? Priyanka. And her SSN number is. So, is, does the number change post marriage? Uh, no, it just doesn't change, right? So this is the girl Priyanka having social number as one one one. Okay. Now she's at a father's place. She's at a. So the father calls her by the name Priyanka, right? Yes. And once she gets married, she goes. So this is at the father's house. First, then she gets married. She goes to her in-laws' house, at the husband's house, right? Yeah. So does the individual change? Uh. Then, but, uh, yeah. So she then her husband gives her a pet name called Priya, right? Yes. So is Priyanka and Priya two different individuals? No, they're the same. Why? Because she has the same social security number, right? Yes. But if she at if she's at her father's house, they call her Priyanka. If she's at her mother's uh, husband's house, they, she she is called Priya, right? Yeah. So this concept you need to understand. Oops, very 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 clearly. Now see, this value is five. This value is five. Reference by which variable? Five. So whenever I have to dis display this five in the main, this is the main method, right? Yeah. This is the father's home. This is the and area is the. So whenever I have to access this five over here, I'll do it using which variable? Yes or no? Uh, what is S O P? System dot out dot println. Okay. This one. So if I have to if I have to display five in main, what will I display? Uh, five. R. Yeah. Because I am in. Uh, main. Main. Now when I call area, this R goes into. Now, if I have to display it over here, what will I display it as? As a P K. Are you understanding? Yeah. Okay. Now I'll take it a notch ahead. We have two. This is when I this is calling a function, right? Yes. Yeah. And I am passing this as an argument. Yes. Yes. You understand this, right? Thank you. Yeah. So now this argument can be passed by two ways. You can say call by value, or you can say call by reference. Have you heard of these terms before? I've heard of call by reference in C, but I'm not sure about that. Yeah. I'll just clarify this today. I'll try my best to clarify this. What is call by value is? you get your original mark sheet let's say 
you know you know you all get a original mark sheet it has yeah. a university hologram also on it right some colorful hologram when you tint it it shines somewhat right yeah so this is your original mark sheet right you have your subject names over here along with the marks and in one subject let's say in java you got uh, 78 and you were expecting 95 in this subject so you come up to me and say sir this is my mark sheet and i do you have revaluation option over there in canada yeah so you come up to me with this original mark sheet and tell me sir i need to give my uh, java subject for revaluation should i give it so i tell you okay give me your original mark sheet and i start scribbling on a original mark sheet will you allow me no. you will tell sir i'll get you a copy of this what will i get copy i'll get a xerox of it a photocopy of this whatever scribbling you want to do you do on the xerox you do on the because this is my yes or no yeah so if i do any scribbling on this to do the calculation do you mind this i don't care even if i tear this and throw it any problem then like if i tear this any problem so whatever changes is happening is happening on the original or on the xerox the xerox that is called call by value called called as call by value so when we have r k is the xerox of r k is the yeah so then i have over here r this is the original right yeah and this file is coming into k so when i display k it will display me file right yeah but this k is what a copy so like if you basically can do like uh, before that you print k if you were like uh, make k 55 right then it's not going to it's not going to impact r beautiful so if i do a increment over here if i do k plus plus so if R was five. R was. R is still gonna be five. R is five, right? So when I passed it, K was five, right? But now K is. Six. So now when I do K plus plus, K becomes what? Six. Six. Now, but but does my R change? No. No. So all the data, the integer, character, float, double. If I pass these as arguments, it is. taken as call by value taken as call by value so the primitive data type what are these called as the so the primitive data types if if i pass them as a argument to a function in java the call is considered as considered as call by value so whatever changes happens happens on the xerox of it the original remains intact am i understood is call by value understood yes yes okay now let's come to call by value let's come to call by reference okay so what is call by reference what do you what do you feel uh so like this i think is just uh an input pointer so yes uh, yes so what happened Then it's gonna like there's no Xerox copy. It's just the original file. Yeah, yeah. Okay. See, you know, you heard of fairy tales. Huh? Fairy fairy tales like Once Upon a Time, the story yeah, which begins yeah. which begins yeah, with yeah. Once Upon a Time, and they it ends with and they live happily ever after. Yeah. You no, know, yeah. these are your fairy tales. Yes. So there's a fairy tale wherein there's a village, and a witch. is disturbing the villagers you know uh, what do you call the magician the witch you know harry potter that's fine yeah so harry she is potter. she is uh, creating havoc in the village and being a mischief to the villagers so once this what do you call as the hero the main lead of the drama protagonist what do you call him yeah protagonist so this protagonist the hero walks into the village and the villagers then they tell the hero that we are facing a lot of difficulties from this witch she disturbs 
you know she spoils our crop she eats our animal kidnaps a child so this as he is the main lead as he is the hero he goes in search of this witch okay to kill her so when he goes in the forest he sees a saint over there meditating what is the saint doing so he walks up to the saint and tells him that i have come to kill that witch so the saint tells him that you can't kill her directly because she has some what evil powers you go to a particular cave in that cave you see a parrot what will you see you kill the parrot and this witch will die have you heard of this story some sort of this story i have heard of this story but i know what but you understood right so what happens is the parrot and the witch they are one life yeah so i kill the parrot the witch dies right so this i mean kind of, like if you remember like harry potter the kind of like when you kill all the more snake i'm not sure if you know the details no i the I, I i haven't seen any of the harry potter series no, no. like yeah but it is something regarding this the witch she flies on the broom right exactly yeah so this sort of a story it is so in this what happens is if i say integer r equals to 5 and then i pass it to a function okay i need to pass r right and i accept it in some variable and if i modify the value of k over here this will also modify r also becomes a 6 r also becomes right yeah but i'm saying this is not the correct syntax yeah this is not this is not the currency tag this is not the, this is just a, a pseudo code i'll show the i'll show the program right now yeah that's fine so, so all the objects all the okay. objects passing in java is called by reference is always by reference you always pass the objects via and you pass the primitives via Uh, getting the point yes so now what am i what am i doing over here i want you to tell me okay i'll just remove this crap from here okay now i want you to tell me what am i passing over here at line number 66 point your list i'm passing a object yes or no yeah so now i will receive it in a similar type of object temp yes or no so if i modify temp will s3 modify yes yes are you getting this point so if i okay if i if i modify a will this 111 modify yeah no because it is called by value the yeah. primitives primitives are called by and this object is called by reference are you getting the point no yeah. yeah so now what i have to do is whatever is in this i'll transfer it over here so what i'll say is roll number will be the same as temp roll number this is a copy constructor right s name will be same as temps s name and percentage will be same as temps percentage get the point yeah so this is i'm copying from one to another so now if i go and display s4 so if i do a s4 display and i remove all this okay what do you should do what should what do you think will be output of this like one something one jo 98.9 is is there a screen right are you able to see it yeah yeah so s3 and s4 both are same yes or no uh, can you go yeah can you go back to the uh, like the table so my s3 is coming over here right my s3 is coming in temp right so whenever i am creating an object and passing a 
object to it. It will go to a constructor which will take an object of type object, yes. And that S3 will come in which type, which now, which variable, which object? Temp. temp. So when I say temp, roll number means I'm talking of? So when I say temp name, I'm talking of S3's name. When I say temp percentage, I'm talking of S3's percentage, right? Yes. Get, get in the point? Yes. So this will be copy constructor. This will be what? Yeah. Copy so when you pass an object, it becomes a copy constructor. Clear? So now when I run this, you will see both the objects have the same value, right? So... Let's okay. What it is saying? S3. Okay, did I not comment that? Okay, yeah, I should have commented that or deleted that rather. I save. Do you see this? Exactly. Correct. Okay. Now I want you to see the difference. Okay. If over here I do tem dot r number plus plus what will be the r number now? R no so then you say one one one. Yeah, so one one one. So what does it become over there now? So when I received it it was one one one, right? Yeah. So like S S4 is gonna remain one 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 Joe and but S3 is going to change to. See, I think S3 will change to 111. What did we, what did we pass as an argument? S3. S3. This is the which. This is the. Yeah. That's and what, I think what is this S3. temp? S3's roll number is going to change to 112. Yeah. So now I have modified whose roll number. The temps, but it will have an effect over here also, correct? Because in Java, the objects are passed as reference, passed as references. So now let's see. Now if I say s4 dot when I say s3 dot display, what should it display? Uh, one one two zero Okay, this was at this moment, right? Now I have passed it over here. So this should display me what? 112 Joe 98.9 and this will display me as 11. Get in the point? Yeah. Let's 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 confirm this. Let's confirm this. Okay. That I You see this? Yes. Understood? Yeah. yeah. And if I would do the same over here, let's say. If I would do the same over here. If I would do the same over here, let's say. And if I would pass what to it? Yes, no, maybe. Correct. Yes, Krish, you there? Oh, sorry, I accidentally muted myself. Uh, yeah, so the output for S3 is going to be 11 hours 87.6. S4 would be 10 hours 87.6. Yeah, that is there, okay? Now if I go and uh, increment the roll number over here, if I go and uh, increment A over here, what will change? It should go by 2, right? It increments by 1, it increments by? No, because you're doing it here and you're doing it by 29. No, 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 see, 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 see. Or 
let's come to only this part what is the value of a b and c now what am i calling over here so i am passing this to the constructor so what yes. comes okay let's take a let's take a simple number let's take a simple number okay so now what is coming in a may come to 10 b and c 60 now what am i doing over here what does a become now 11 okay a is going 11 now if i come and display a over here if i come and display a over here what should be the value of a what should be the value of a 10 or 10 or 11 10 yes get the point why because Passing the, passing yeah, the primitives are passed by value, right? So now, what do you think will be the output of this? Okay, I'll comment uh, all this. Okay, I'll comment all this. I just wanted to show you all that part of it. So I'll comment this. So what should be the output? Ten uh, or eleven? Ten. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's test it. You see? getting the point okay if i go and display it over here yeah that is going to be one so whatever changes have taken place have taken place at the copy right yeah so now it is calling the constructor so it's calling the constructor so it will first display 11 because we are displaying in the constructor and then we are displaying over here so it will be 11 and 10 right yeah so let's confirm that so we'll have proof get the point so if i ask how does java pass the data to the function you will say if it is a primitive type it is by value and if it is or object type it is of by reference understood yeah. understood constructors thoroughly yeah yeah and so we can take these values from the user also if you want and pass them as arguments like this also it's not a problem yeah clear yeah it's clear so today we had then what is the constructor and we did call by value call by reference okay okay that is today and what have you practiced till date any doubts you have any confirmations clarifications you want so i was practicing this topic and i was facing difficulties ask me one question anything you practice in the last week and you are having difficulties in understanding the concept so that we can so uh, what i also heard of doing is that i'm going through my textbook in order from the beginning mm -hmm. and uh, i'm just covering like the because we didn't go through all of the details mm -hmm. or like the levels so i'm going through all those myself mm -hmm. and um, i'm trying to catch up with what we did i am almost kind of caught up with what we did uh two, two days ago on tuesday Okay. But uh, now that we have three. Yeah. So if I make a constructor private, let's see what happens. So we made the default constructor as private. Yeah. And private data cannot be directly accessed from outside the class. Sir. Sure. So when it is creating this object, line number sixty-five, it is invoking the student default constructor. Yeah. This will cause a problem. This will cause problem. So if I comment this line. and just focus on this line so you will see that line number 65 65 should throw some errors over there and those errors will be regarding access privilege let's test it 
here you go line number 65 what is it saying yeah why is it not found because it's what it's just an empty constructor it's a private constructor right yeah so private data cannot be accessed directly from outside the class so if you want to restrict people from creating your objects if you want to restrict people from yeah i'll just show you a, i'll just show you a scenario now i'll just show you a scenario this is more or less like how a singleton singleton pattern works so now this is the only constructor i have yes or no yeah and i have made it what and private so outside the class you are not able to create any of its objects yes or no so if i want to restrict the creation of objects outside the class i make the constructor as so whatever objects needs to be created has to be created within the class so either by the except student method or by the display student method or by the so within the class you can make within the class so if i let's say in accept student will it allow me to make this yeah that would be allowed yes why because within the same class because it's in the same class so members of the class can access the private data outside the yeah. class you cannot access the private data so if you want to restrict the creation of objects outside the class then simple way is what you do is you just make a just you just make a single constructor and make that single constructor as private and you remove yeah. all the other constructors and i'm guessing that that can also use this like uh, let's say if you want to have like two or three constructors in one like class right then we can have like uh, one private so that's to be dedicated for this class and then if you're calling other constructors to the same class then you know yeah but that that will not serve the purpose like our, our use case was that we want to restrict people from creating objects of our class from outside the class so if you keep a public constructor then people can create objects using this constructor so if i have a parameterized constructor which is public yeah so this will help people to create objects outside the class Okay, let's come into one more point. Very interesting point I wanted to raise. When I made the parameterized constructor, what did I give the variable names as A, B, and C? Yeah. Yes. No. And how did we insert them? Uh, we said row number equals to A, right? Yeah. Yes. And we said uh, S name equals to B, right? Yeah. And we said what? percentage equals to c right yeah okay now what if i do this tell me this will create ambiguity yes yes no maybe not going to be clear this will be this will be ambiguous right yeah but i know the lhs is the one which are belonging to the class the data the data members of the class are on the lhs right yes so the data members of the class are on the lhs right so the rhs are the ones which are on the which are on the constructor right yeah so to uniquely identify the class variables we say this we say what this so we say what let's start so if ever you have to use the same names for the variables like this is done by eclipse and intellij and these ids 
if you if you're programming on these ides the constructor yeah. normally they keep as the same name as that of the class variables and then how do they identify which is of the class and which is of the constructor by which keyword yeah so this keyword is on the lhs and this refers to the class variable right yeah normally it's called as object variable so what is scope of a variable yes scope of a variable means the visibility of the variable what is it so outside that scope it is not visible right yeah so we have three scopes so which scope local 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 scope is only local to the function in which it is declared local to the so if so if in this greet method if i have a variable yeah. integer z the scope of this z is only between this function right yes so and if i have a for loop and if i declare a variable integer x over here what is the scope of this x just within the loop yes it's only between the parentheses only between the so if i if i try to display the x over here will it display yeah. me no so by default the scope of the variable is limited to the parentheses in which it is declared right yes that is local scope that is called as what no. so restricted to the right. then instance scope instance scope means each object has its own variable right so if i say student s1 so s1 has its own roll number name and percentage yes or no yeah and if i say student s2 s2 has its own roll number name and percentage yeah. yes or no that is called instance scope that is called as what and class is static class is what static so if i declare a variable as in static it is having scope of a class means it is common to the entire class right yeah so if i say static integer strength so this is which scope class this is class level right these three are these three are instance instance level and this z is local no. local no. So these are scope of variables. These are scope. Get the point? <coughs> yeah, I got it. So.